Now, actually for decades now, the future of the Skyway has been up for debate. And today, during Governor Cuomo's State of the State address, he shed some light on his plans, which could become a reality this year. Two on your side's Jackie Roberts explains. As a part of a statewide infrastructure plan, the governor called attention again to Buffalo. We are taking down the Skyway, an idea first proposed 50 years ago and creating a spectacular park overlooking Lake Erie. Our construction team is ready to break ground as soon as the federal approval comes through. Congressman Brian Higgins has spent well over a decade pushing for the Skyway's removal. There are a number of problems with it. In fact, the Skyway would not be approved for construction today because of safety problems associated with it. Higgins has endorsed what's called the Boulevard Plan. You would remove uh, from Tiff Street to Church Street in downtown Buffalo, 3.6 miles uh, of Skyway. You would create a Parkway Boulevard uh, to replace uh, most of Tiff Street, and then that would connect eventually uh, with the I-190 at Seneca Street. There would be a new uh, on-ramp uh, to, uh, to provide for uh, efficient access uh, to the 190. He says that would be complemented by a linear park. And then there's the funding of this project. I, as a member of the United States Congress, will have to get about 80% of the funding for this project. The state will cover about 20% of the costs. Higgins believes this project is on the radar of the federal government, with President-elect Joe Biden and the new Transportation Secretary, Pete Buttigieg. And we expect that that final approval will come uh, in early summer, which will provide for design uh, and then construction. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.